Hello! This video should show you how to do a PDF reporting from Visual Studio and C Sharp using Jazz Report. Jazz Report is a new open source reporting platform allowing to create PDF reports without designers just using HTML and JavaScript. It has a strong integration into C Sharp and it also contains a Visual Studio extension which I will show in this screencast. I will just introduce myself before I jump into the demo. My name is Jan Blaha and I am the author of Jazz Report. Don't hesitate to reach me using mail or Twitter. Okay, so now I have Visual Studio 2012 opened and first thing you need to do is to install Jazz Report Visual Studio Tools extensions into it. You can do it from Tools and Extensions and Updates. Go to Online and search for Jazz Report and just hit ins it install. Then you can create a new project I will choose a console application now. And when it's finished, I can try to create a first report. You can do it from a project item template. Click Add New Item, search for Jazz Report. Now we can see you have three options here Jazz Report Visual Studio Extensions. Add it to the Visual Studio. It's an image, report template, or sample data. Now I'll create a first report template. And you can see I get directly error that it's missing some NuGet packages. So first thing I will do is to in install these packages. Click Manage NuGet Packages. Search for Jazz Report. And install Jazz Report Embedded Server. This will add a couple of libraries to the solution and also a zipped version of Jazz Report and Node.js executable. So I will have everything in my project and I can distribute it with it. Okay, I will try to open the report file again. And now it opens a editor where I can set the basic settings of the report. And I can also preview it with this button or using F5. So I can click preview and it will open for me a first report. I can undock this and put it on the right side. Close this and now I can play with it a little bit. So I can, for example, set a margin to five centimeters. I can set a header hit a 5 I can see that you have a header at footer now I can also change a page orientation to landscape hit a 5 now I have a landscape I can change a page format to different paper size and now I would like to change uh, actual content of the of the report. For this I can click this go to content button or I can go to solution and open the HTML file. Here I can basically set any HTML, hit a 5 and it will render for me a PDF from it. I can also change style using CSS and say for example headers should have red color and it will change to red. I will get rid of these headers and footers also margin put it back to the original state. A typical report is generated from some input data but now in the design time I don't have a real data but I can create a sample one. To do it go to a new item dialog search for JS report and choose a sample data. This will create for me a JSON file where I can fill any sample input data I would like. So let's put there some collection of strings Now I would like to iterate over this collection and print some PDF from it. 
To do it, JS Report supports JavaScript templating engines. It's something similar to ASP.NET Razor, only it has a little bit different syntax. To specify what report uh, templating engine you want to use, you can fill this engine drop, drop down. You can fill handlebars or JS under currently. The second thing you need to do is to actually associate the sample data we have created with this report. You can do this in the sample data drop down. Select the report sample data, and now you can iterate over the data and print HTML and then PDF. So go to content and iterate over the people collection. To do it, we are using handlebars engine and in handlebars engine use uh, each keyword to iterate. So let's say we want to iterate over the people collection and we want to print a second header with every string that is there. Can I have hit at 5? And we can see we have everything there. Now, if we would like to do some computation or some advanced logic, we can use an JavaScript helper functions for this. We can place helper functions in the JS file that is located under the report, or we can get there also from a go to helpers button in the basic settings editor. Here we can fill, for example, a function that will uppercase a string using standard ECMAScript function to uppercase. And then use this function in the report. In handlebars, you use a helper function that you will put the name of the helper function, space, and then the parameters. So now I can hit a 5 and I can see everything is uppercase. JS report is able to print any HTML, CSS, and JavaScript we will put into the report. So I can, for example, link a jQuery charting library and also print a chart. So let me do it. I will first add links to jQuery float, float library at CDN. I will put there also a placeholder where I want to actually render the chart and I will put there the script that will be rendering the simple chart. Just hit a 5 and now I also have a chart. Another handy report. feature of JS report that I will mention is called child templates. It allows me to split a report template into a couple of smaller parts and reuse them. For example, I want to take these tiles and put them into the separate report and reuse these styles in all other reports. To do it, I will just create a new report. I will call it styles. Say that I don't want to use any engine because it will be just plain styles and I want to just render HTML from it. I will go to content and put there the styles. This is not the styles. I uh, will put there these styles. Save it. Then I will go back to original report, remove the styles, and say that I want to render a child report here at this place with a special tag with the name called styles. Hit a 5, and you can see that the style stays there. I can also change it to blue, that you really see that the child template is really linked into the, into the parent report. In some cases, you can have an existing SQL database you want to generate a report from. And you don't want to actually create the sample JSON files from it. You just want to use a C sharp to get the data from the database and put it to the report. To do it, you can create a new class in, in your project, a new C sharp class, and you need to name it re reporting startup. In this class, you need to add a public 
method called configure that is accepting IV as a reporting configuration instance and in this instance you can say that you want to register a sample data you can call it dynamic data and here you can put a real C-sharp function that will actually load the data from the database let's say and provide it to the report I don't have a database here so I will just create an anonymous object I will put there some strings and to show it's really dynamic I can put there for example a date field and displays this date in the report so I will go back to report definition wait until it's refreshed and I will say I want to use this dynamic data as an input of the report I will do, go to content and also display the date that I've just added hit F5 and you can see it's really taking the dynamically data from the C sharp into the report Now you have seen how to design a report in Visual Studio using Jazz Report. The last missing puzzle piece is how to integrate the rendering process into the application. I will show you how to do it in this console application. I will open a program CS and I will also close all the other files that I don't need. And first thing I need to do is to start a Jazz Report server from the C sharp. Well, I've created the instance of the server and I need to start it. The next thing is that I need to synchronize the templates that I have just created with the server. I can do it calling synchronize templates method. Why not until we finish? Now I can render the report. I can do it using render async method where I will put a name of the report that is report 1 and then I will provide some data there that are expected on the input so we are expecting there a collection of strings and also a date and I will get the result from it result contains some useful information like content type file extension but the most important is the content field this is a stream to the report that was just generated so I will take this stream and write it to the file and run the application so this should start the embedded server this is what I will do just once at the application startup it will also synchronize the templates with the server it's also what I will do just once at the startup and then I will render a report one inside the JS report server get the result back and put it to the temp PDF file right now if I'll go to the bin folder I should find there a temp PDF file that I can open and there is the report 
Okay, this was a super simple example. I will now just quickly show you how to how you can integrate JS report into a real application. For this purpose, I have enhanced official ASP.NET MVC 5 example called Contos University with reporting. You can find original ASP.NET MVC example on the ASP.NET MVC website and final reporting enhanced version on the JS report GitHub repository. So I will open the Visual Studio 2013 with the Contos University. So this is the final reporting enhanced version. I will just start it. And you can see this is the example from the ASP.NET website. You can just browse the students here, courses, instructors, departments, and so on. What is added here is this generate report button that you can click and it should open for you a fancy report generated from the departments in this case. You can see a similar report also at the students page. You can just click generate report and it will generate for me a student report using JS report inside Visual Studio. So I will go quickly now to the code. You can see that there is a JS report zipped version in the project and also node executable. So this project is also using embedded JS report that is running along the ASP.NET MVC application process. If I will navigate to the reporting folder, I can see that there are two reports, departments and students. So I will open the departments report and I can hit F5 to preview the report the same way as in the console application. I can see it's using a JS render. I will go to content and find out that it's rendering a table using JS render and it's also rendering a chart using a high chart library. I can see that all the styles and also all the libraries are linked as a child templates because this code is actually reused also in, in an, another report called students. All the child templates here are stored in the child folder. Now I will navigate to global SX file where you can find the same code that is starting the embedded server as in the console application. Only difference is that we are setting here a relative path to the server to the app data folder. This is because every change in a bin folder in a ASP.NET MVC will cause the application pool to recycle. This is unwanted because we don't want to recycle an application every time JS report will actually write something. That's why we are starting the server from an alternative folder. The last thing I will show you how is the report actually rendered. This code is stored in the controller's actions. I will navigate to department controller and there I can see a report action. This action is just rendering a department's report and returning a stream back to the caller. The data to the report are taken using entity framework, just using a simple query returning anonymous object that is used in the report. Okay, that's it. You have seen a new reporting approach and I hope you like it. You can go ahead, download Visual Studio Extension, JS report, NuGet packages and start using it. See you in the next screencast.